Well, we've got so many wassail songs from around here, and they're nothing to do with apples. It's to do with house to house, wishing people Happy New Year, prosperous time. <laughs> Morris dancing all morning, yeah. And then 12 o'clock, uh, we're electing the Lord of Misrule and the King and the Queen, and we're also releasing the broad. This is the wassail broad that we're going to be taking out today. Um, there's a yeah, far-reaching history of wassail, wassailing, and we're actually reviving, it's, a, it's from the Stroud area. Um, this is a copy of one that was found in Tetbury, I think. There's an old photo. So we've, we've recreated um, an old wassail brawl. It comes out, um, we process around the town, we then come back to the subrooms, um, knock on the door, and um, sing the wassail song to the subrooms. And then we'll be drinking cider <laughs> and spreading good cheer. <laughs> so this is coffin. You get inside them. Yeah. And uh, basically my you aim is to... <laughs> my job is to... It's to scare little children, really. Yeah. The coffin is a hooden horse. It actually, I mean, we had hobby horses in Mama's plays uh, around here. You know, a lot of plays had horses. <laughs> but this one is actually based on one from um, uh, Kent. A sack, a broom. This is made from an old broom. The lips and the ears are made from a pair of shoes. Uh, penny washer eyes. And... Um, and he's quite mad. And is he coming out today? Are you coming out today? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm glad the sun shined. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, seriously, it's a good fun day out. Morris dance is good fun anyway, full stop. We're Stroud Ladies Morris. And we're Esquire, Lorraine. Yes, I'm the Squire. And um, we're here celebrating uh, Stroud and Sale. We're based in Stroud and we wear the Stroud colours, which is red for the red cloth that was made in Stroud. And the green for the hills and the white for our purity. <laughs> Your purity. <laughs> <laughs> We're renowned for our bloomers. Our bloomers. We are Your bloomers. Oh. oh my goodness. Uh, this might be the censored bit. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> If anybody feels yes. that they would like to flash a bloomer around in Stroud area, and we do go much further afield as well, then we're always very pleased to have new members. Okay? <laughs> an old tradition, bringing people together and celebrating the new year. Morris dancing does bring the sun out. And uh, when we collect, we all say, put the coins of the realm into the Morris lucky hat, and that will give us sun, good luck, and fertility. And so we've had all of that. Well, I don't know about the fertility, but we've certainly had the, the sun and the, and the good luck today. Nine Morris signs, I believe, which is the biggest gathering of Morris in Strouda ever, I think. Well, it's just brilliant, that's all I have to say, really. This is the old Twelfth Night custom of taking a cake and each taking a piece of the cake. And if you find in the cake you've got a silver bean or a silver pea, you are the king or queen. So we're going to crown the king. <laughs> How does it feel? It is a man who ends up with a pea they can... Right, the two kings. Actually, I got the pea, which meant I was the queen. Dern and Andrew, Dern kings. Your job is to appoint the Lord of Misrule. Kings, do we appoint this lady as the Lady of Misrule? Very good, you are Lady of Misrule.
Should be going around um, all the local pubs um, and going up to people and just telling my story and obviously collecting monies as the Waysail would have done back years ago. And now we need to bring out the board. Um, one hasn't been seen in this area for many, many years. And it was popular in the 19th century and it sort of died out in the 20th century. Have you seen the board, Coppin? No? We'll have to try again then. Are we ready, drums? The broad, the broad. Not seen leaping around the streets of Gloucestershire for many years. Now the broad's job is when the wayfarers go to the house, knock on the door, and uh, the master comes out. The broad rushes in to flush out all the girls in the household and make them scream. Broad, let's welcome our guest board. All the way from Winchcombe, the Winchcombe Board! And um, yeah, we're having a great day. It's nice to see the broad ring brought back after many, many years. So yeah, I was, I was impressed with the eyes. <laughs> they were, they were good, weren't they? So what we're going to do is we can sing the Stroud Rosso. Well, the bowl goes back a long way. So the very first wassail goes back medieval times. Oh, no, before that, Anglo-Saxon. The king uh, is reported as saying, ways hail, ways be of hail, hail and hearty, good health. And the subjects replied, drink hail. So it was a toast. And that carried right on. Right the way through medieval times, you had the wassail bowls in the court, you know, um, they'd have their 12th night celebration, the bowl would go round, you would, you would wish your, um, wish your neighbour ways hail, drink his health. And the bowls got more and more elaborate. In this area, it was crazy. It's a bowl with hoops all over it and ivy and stuff like that. It, you can't drink from it anymore. <laughs> so it's been a really, a really good day. The weather's been kind to us, and it's nice to have something as good as this in Strode where we can represent what we do. And I we mean, every street could be taking their bowl round to their neighbours. They could do that. They used to do it. It's like carol singing. So, yeah, this is why we know we've got so many Wassail songs that were collected this last century, but you know, sometimes quite late in the century, um, because people used to do it like they did carol singing. Okay, so what would they do? They would go and knock on their neighbour's door? Knock on the door and then sing them a song that wishes them. So you, you're familiar with the Gloucestershire Wassail, you know. Here's to our colleagues. And so it's wishing the farmer a prosperous new year. More corn, more pigs, whatever. And um, so that's what they were doing, wishing you a good year. And there were verses for all different kinds of trades. We, we're going to do the procession and um, we're just waiting to go along and do that and hopefully get a ball. <laughs> just it's very cold. <laughs> We're known probably more for rain dances, so uh, we didn't admit to that one at nine o'clock. But uh, look, the sun's come out, and it's been a we're really enjoying it. Yeah, nice to nice to come to Stroud. And, uh... 
knocked at the door yet? I don't know. <laughs> if they don't knock on the door, they won't be let in. <laughs> exactly. Ex it's been going very well actually. It was a lot of hard work went into the preparation and we were um, extremely anxious about the weather this morning but it has been fantastic. So it's a good turnout. Everybody's having well, fun. Let's go straight That's the knocking on the door. <laughs> I think it's uh, it's rather splendid. I'm very pleased to see them all from all over. I think they all look great, and I'm pleased to welcome them to my grand house. What a fantastic day it's been here at uh, the Moss Heading in Scout. We welcome our guests, we buy them a strong drink, we send them on their way. Well, you've, you've got to be doing it really. I mean, this, this is the future of Britain, is, is returning to traditional values beer, cider, dancing, and music. Brilliant. <laughs> Couldn't be more important than that to, to building community. Yeah, it's all going very well. It's been meticulously planned by Chris Lee and Steve Brownlee. And yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's great. Let's hope it gets bigger and bigger year on year and make it a real good sort of warming. What can I say? It's fantastic. We're going up to the museum and we'll do the same thing, knock on the door of the museum and get them to come out and give us some ale or cider or something like that. And then the Prince Albert and get Lottie to do that as well. <laughs>